Kevin here with skis.com. Today we're going to talk about the different types of shaft construction and features of the shafts of ski poles. Start off on the lower end. This is going to be your basic construction of pole. It's going to be an aluminum pole, generally a little bit heavier weight in aluminum, so these are going to be the heavier poles that you find in the store. Uh, weight in a ski pole uh, just has to do with fatigue. So the heavier the ski pole, you're holding it up all day, it doesn't seem like a lot when you first hold it up, but at the end of the day it can be pretty fatiguing on the wrist. So lower end ski poles are going to be pretty heavy, aluminum construction for them in general. Sometimes you'll find some lower end composite poles. Um, another thing that's going on here is you don't have a very pointed tip on the pole, so it's not going to give you good grip, you know, good, uh, good pole, pole planting, good solid pole plant on harder pack, icier conditions. So that's your basic pole. Um, from there you move up to a little bit higher end aluminum pole. So here you're going to get a stronger pole shaft, there's going to be less flex into it, less likely for the uh, pole to break. You're going to get a sharper, pointier tip on it as well. So again, when you pole plant in hard packed, icy conditions, you're going to get a much more solid pole plant. From there you kind of move into the composite carbon fiber high end pole construction. So these are going to be very lightweight, so less fatigue at the end of the day. Um, women especially like these. Um, again, you're going to have a higher end tip, sharper for better grip, better pole plant. So very lightweight. That's the biggest thing here. Um, you know, stronger. They actually have a little bit of give into them as well, so less likely to break. On the race side, which you'll find some guys skiing around the hill with, is what's known as a GS pole. They're not broken, nobody's like falling on them or anything. They have that natural curve so that when you're skiing, you're in a tuck, it's very aerodynamic, um, less drag. So they're not good for skiing around all day because they're not really meant for pole planting, so they're highly inaccurate when you're going to plant to the curve of the pole. Next we're going to talk about types, different types of grips. Your basic grip, basically you're getting a single mold, just hard plastic um, grip. So it, some of them will have a, a single finger mold into them, so they're decently comfortable, but they're not soft to the touch. They're pretty firm. You get a basic strap with them just to basically hold your wrist to the pole. As you get a little bit higher up, you'll get you know four slot finger grip, so it's a little more ergonomical. Um, sometimes they'll have a little tip forward to the grip as well. If you're going to get a nicer strap, so here you're getting more comfort. Dual density, so you have that hard plastic for feel of the pole, but then you have a soft, kind of rubberized outer skin to it to provide comfort, some shock absorbing, so it's less fatiguing to your hands throughout the day. Some, some poles like that will even have a leather wrap to it, so again, a little nicer touch, a little softer feel. Some poles too will have grips where it features a forward angle to it, and that's again going to be less fatiguing to the wrist, so it's a little more natural, you know, ergonomical. This leaky pole also actually features a nice feature where it has what's called their trigger grip on it. So most ski poles, you're at the bottom of the lift, you have to constantly take off your, you know, your hand out of the pole strap and whatnot. It's kind of cumbersome sometimes, especially if you're in a rush with bunch with buddies. Um, this one, all you have to do is simply push down on the button on the top and you pull it out. So the strap actually stays around your glove. You're not having to fumble with getting your hand in and out of the strap. And you just simply get to the top and you click it right back in and you're ready to go. So now we're going to talk about something pretty simple, it's just pretty basic, but everybody kind of needs to know it, and that's how to hold a ski pole. There's two schools of thought, you can go down through the top, and you just kind of grip the pole under. One disadvantage is if you do fall, the strap's still out in front of you, and if that gets caught up, it can very easily tear a ligament in your thumb. Believe me, I know from experience, I've done it, it's not fun. Um, a little bit safer way to do it is if you go up through the bottom, and you grip over the strap. This way when you fall, the strap falls away and off of you, and you're less likely to hurt your thumbs when you do fall. So pretty simple thing, but a good extra safety feature is if you just go up through the bottom of the strap and grip it that way. You'll save your thumbs. So just kind of wrap things up here. We've talked about the different types of construction of the shafts. You know, carbon fiber versus aluminum and composite. Obviously a lighter weight pole, you're going to save yourself some fatigue at the end of the day. Uh, different types of tips on them, and different types of grips how to hold the ski pole. Really when it comes down to it though, it's all about how the pole looks. And they're doing some really cool treatments to the poles these days. This one's got a velvet overlay on it, velvet grip, so nice soft to the touch. A lot of ladies like that. 
You know, you've got some pinstriping action here on the Scots. You know, leather strap, pretty sweet. I kind of like that one. Uh, the Roxy one, you've got some metallics in the paint. You know, nice little snazzy thing for the younger girls out there. And then K2 is doing some pretty cool stuff as well. You can see the carbon fiber in the pole, some leather, some chrome on the grip. Nice looking pole. All different kinds of graphics. Find one that's going to match you. It's really going to help your outfit pop. Those brand new pair of skis add a little extra bling to the things. Nothing wrong with that.